Terry, if you look back through the series and, and take yours or my hunts out of the equation, what would be one of the most memorable scenes that you can recall just off the top of your head from any of the videos? Turkey or deer, big game? Or... Well, I have got to say on Monster Bucks, I want to say Monster Bucks 2, I don't remember if it was 1 or 2, but where Kiski shoots over the back of that big deer, and he puts his, hand, or his head down in his hand, and you know there's, there's, there's some tears brought to his eyes at that point, you don't get to see him, but when he does turn around and finally do an interview for the camera, you, you could feel the pain that he was experiencing as a whitetail hunter, because at that time, it's probably the biggest deer he'd ever shot at, maybe one of the biggest deer they'd ever had ever laid eyes on at that time. your whole lifetime for a chance like that. I just, 10 yards, 20 pin right on him. Over the top of the back, what can I say? It's the biggest buck I've ever released an arrow at. Easiest shot in the world. <laughs> So that one was, was memorable for me because we had never had an opportunity at a deer at that, that caliber at that time. So Still have it. Still have it. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was, was a big a giant. one. That was a giant. So that one's pretty memorable. What about, what about you? I, I would say his tandem, uh, which would be Jay Gregory's kill on, at that time, hot spots, that gigantic buck coming through those open hardwoods, I mean, to me, just epitomized whitetail hunting in the Midwest, and it epitomized our goal, if you will, was to get a deer that big, that close, and uh, I'll, I'll just never forget when I first laid eyes on that scene. It was just amazing. And you're referring to Jay's. Jay's kill. Yes. And it, that deer yeah. just looked so large coming through the woods, and I haven't looked at that scene in 15, 20 years. I should go look at it now and see how big I think the deer is, but I remember at the time, I thought that's the biggest deer I've ever seen in my life. Got up late this morning. We had a long ways to drive to get to our stand. And we were late and we just got in the tree and I heard him grunting down below and I grunted at him. I rattled at him. 
I looked up and here he come. Oh my. Oh, that is an absolute monster. And so fast he didn't have a time to, to shake me up too bad. I'm shook now. Words cannot describe a majestic animal such as this. A hot spot can only be as good as the deer in your area. If you as a hunter can discipline yourself to pass a young buck and allow a whitetail to fully mature, the potential is phenomenal. Who knows, this could quite possibly have started as a year and a half old farkhorn. What a season. This has just been the most unbelievable. You know, you, even when you hear one grunting down below you like that, you crash the horn, you hear something coming, you don't expect to see this coming up through the timber. Oh. This season's got my nerves wore to a frazzle. It'll take me a couple months to recover from this. This is something I'll never forget, I'll tell you what. <sighs> Thank God for ant rattling antlers and grunt tubes, because I tell you what, they have really paid off for me this year. They always do, though. They don't always pay off with bucks this big, but oh boy. Well, here we are umpteen years later, still talking about two deer that were very, very impressionable way, way back when. In the early 90s. In the early 90s. And Jay and Don, two guys that still, still killing big still deer. Still killing monsters. And uh, that's pretty cool.